It's no secret that celebrity breakups can get very ugly, especially when large sums of money, children, or legal proceedings are involved. However, when Marvel star Jeremy Renner divorced actress and model Sonny Pacheco, nobody thought things could get so bad. Let's rewind on their sadly brutal custody battle. As well as modeling, Pacheco has also done some work as an actress. She got a small part in Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, where Renner was starring. The couple started dating until they welcomed their daughter, Ava, two years later. This period of their relationship is very mysterious, with some sources reporting that the pair split before the arrival of their daughter and decided to try again after Ava was born. According to them, Jeremy wanted Ava to have the best family possible, so he allowed Sonny to live with him and his flatmate even after they broke up. However, other sources state that the couple stayed together the whole time, but the actor didn't want to confirm the relationship to avoid scrutiny. Whatever the truth is, it's clear that things were complicated from the start. The pair finally tied the knot in January 2014. However, Renner didn't acknowledge their marriage until September of that same year. In an interview with Capital File magazine, he confessed that he had secretly married to protect his wife's privacy. I want her to go about her day without being bothered, he explained. In the same interview, the actor talked about his love for his daughter, saying that he now knew unconditional love. The reason why I go do things is now for her. So thank you for that, Ava, because it's freed me from myself, he added. Uh, that to me is a very special moment in my life, you know. Uh, so I'm very, very, very happy for that. Although the actor's marriage and family could have seemed ideal from the outside, Pacheco filed for divorce in December 2014, less than a year after their wedding. She cited irreconcilable differences and claimed that the prenuptial agreement she had signed was fraudulent. In the divorce filing, the model also demanded Renner to return her passport, birth certificate, and social security card, which she claims were stolen. All this might have seemed unexpected from the outside, but it seems like friends of the couple saw the divorce coming. This has been on the cards for a while. They are just not compatible, a source told E! News. This person also predicted the divorce was going to get ugly and assured that the actor's priority was his daughter. I mean, it really kind of it changed my perspective on, on a lot of things, and, and it kind of screwed my career in a lot of ways because I don't really care about it so much because I uh -huh. care about her so much. Good. She's like number one in my life. Jeremy loves Ava so much and hates that she will live her life with her parents split up, they added. According to this same source, Jeremy regretted getting married almost as soon as he did it. However, he tried to make it work to provide Ava with a solid family unit. Perhaps we should have seen it coming, since the actor told Elle magazine that he didn't think about marriage often. In the interview, he stated, Don't forget how the institution of marriage came about. At the time, there were rumors saying the real reason for the breakup was Jeremy's sexuality. However, he denied being gay in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, saying, I want my personal life to be personal, and is not f***ing true. Many also believe the couple's 20-year age difference could have been a reason for their breakup. When she filed for divorce, Pacheco requested to have the sole physical custody of Ava, although she did want shared legal custody. She argued that Renner's home was unsafe for the then almost two-year-old. One of these hazards was an unfenced koi pond. However, the actor later explained that the pond was equipped with lasers so he would be alerted if his daughter ever fell in. Pacheco also claimed that Ava could easily access Renner's gun collection. In the papers, the model claimed, I have been the parent that cares for Ava on a daily basis. She explained that when Renner spent one-on-one -on -one time with his daughter, it was because she insisted. Pacheco also wanted child support and for Renner to pay for her legal fees. A source revealed to US Weekly that Jeremy was afraid Sonny would flee the United States and go to Canada, her native country, with their daughter. Meanwhile, Pacheco claimed that Renner had stolen her passport to prevent her from visiting her parents in Canada. The Hawkeye actor responded to his ex-wife's claims in February 2015 with his own court filing, in which he requested joint custody of Ava. Finally, the two actors agreed to share custody of their daughter, with Renner paying $13,000 monthly in child support. He didn't have to pay any spousal support thanks to the prenuptial agreement. However, in April 2018, Renner's Marvel salary made him an extraordinary high income earner. Because of this, he was set to pay $292,000 as additional child support that year. The former couple came to a new financial agreement, which stipulated that the actor's yearly payments from 2018, 2019, and 2020 would not exceed $200,000. Any amount over that quantity would go into an account destined for Ava's education expenses. 
Any leftover money in the account will be made available to Ava when she turns 27. It's really it's good. Quite, it's, it is actually, it's pretty, pretty dang good. Things might have stopped there. However, in 2019, Pacheco came forward with some horrific accusations. According to TMZ, she filed a request for sole physical and legal custody of Ava with the Superior Court of California. She also asked for monitored visitation when Rena was with their daughter. In the court filing, she alleged that Rena had talked about killing her and himself in 2015. According to the actress, a nanny overheard a conversation where the Marvel actor said he would kill his ex and himself because it was better for Ava to have no parents than to have Sunny as a mother. In a subsequent court filing, Rena denied the allegations, claiming that Pacheco was unstable, that the actress was upset their relationship had ended, and that she was looking for a money grab. Disney reportedly considered replacing the actor in the wake of those allegations, but in the end, he continued to be a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Okay, look, the city's flying. We're fighting an army of robots. And I have a bow and arrow. None of this makes sense. Neither side commented publicly on the accusations, apart from Renner denying them. However, Pacheco later accused Renner of threatening to kill her according to court documents retrieved by TMZ. She also claimed that the actor had stuck a gun in his mouth one time and that he shot into the ceiling while their daughter was in the room. The actress also stated that her ex-husband used drugs and even left cocaine on the bathroom counter where Ava could reach it. At the time, a representative for Renner told US Weekly, This is a matter for the court to decide. It's important to note the dramatizations made in Sonny's declaration are a one-sided account made with a specific goal in mind. Apparently, the actor even went through drug testing to prove the accusations were false. In an interview with Men's Health, Renner addressed the allegations saying, I don't respond publicly or privately to nonsense. It only empowers it. He also talked about his daughter, saying that he made time to go see her in London, even if he had to fly from LA just to spend a few hours with her. I, I do a lot of flights back. Yeah. I did like 40 flights back from London to here uh, pretty much every other week to wow. see her sometimes for eight hours and then fly back. Wow. The actor insisted on being able to visit Ava every weekend, no matter if he was working or not. People close to Renner even warned him that he could get fired for doing this, but he didn't back down. Acting and everything else goes out the window, the Marvel star explained. Until my daughter says, I want to hang out with my friends and I don't want to be around you so much, daddy. In 2020, the actor requested the court to lower his child support fees during the pandemic since his monthly income had been reduced due to COVID-19. Later that year, he accused his ex of misusing money from Ava's trust fund. Renner's team alleged that Pacheco removed more than $50,000 from the fund in less than two years and used them for her own personal benefit. The model made a statement denying the accusations. I'm sick of being continually bullied, having my name slandered, and the truth muted, she told US Weekly. She said that her top priority was her child's safety and added, Over the years, it's hard to fathom what I've seen and what people have told me they've seen in regards to Jeremy's disturbing actions while our child is in his care. In a different interview with Page Six magazine, Sunny claimed that the allegations were made in an attempt to reduce child support fees. This is a small insight of what I have been dealing with over the years, the actress added. In July 2020, Pacheco filed court documents accusing Renner of having a long history of alcohol and drug abuse, which has persisted since before the party's marriage, through divorce, and post-judgment. She asked a judge to require him to do routine drug testing. Renner responded in the court documents saying that there is absolutely no basis for this court to grant the requested relief with respect to a drug test. In the end, the court decided it was not necessary for the actor to undergo drug testing, but he did have to pay $40,000 to his ex-wife to cover her legal fees. Pacheco also accused Renner of flying several girls to his mansion in Reno, Nevada, where they partied without masks and shared photos of themselves wearing t-shirts emblazoned with Camp Renner. Yeah, I feel like there's a, a lot of things that are um, uh, printed that are, are so uh, not based on any sort of reality whatsoever. Both actors are currently sharing custody of their daughter. Jeremy is still a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Although there have been continuous rumors about Disney recasting him because of his divorce scandal, his TV show Hawkeye was released in 2021. Sonny has a sculpture studio and sells her work, but with so many court filings, we would not be surprised if future accusations arise from either side. We wish that both partners can decide what's best for their daughter.